what are your favorite TV shows? Space, as I touched on before. Uh, Father Ted, really funny comedy from the UK, or from Ireland. The stuff I watch at the moment, Battlestar Galactica is really good, uh, sci-fi wise. And what I've also found since I've been watching YouTube, I've not watched half as much TV as I might have done a year ago. Um, only because, again, come home after work, put on the computer, see if the sort of people I subscribe to have posted any videos and then try and keep up with them because there really aren't enough hours in the day to watch everything that I want to watch. And I would say that probably, what are you doing? Just putting that over there. Yeah, I'd probably say that almost TV suffered at the cost of uh, YouTube. Heroes. I haven't got any. Right, what's your favourite TV shows? Smallville. What, Superman? Yeah, Smallville. That's interesting, Andy, because you don't strike me as a I like superheroes type of person. Yeah. Why do you like Super Smallville? Oh dear, what, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, why? I I just like the storyline. It always has a happy ending and uh, what about it's, the end of like season the, five um, when the perfect world, world isn't it? What about the end of season five when Earth got taken over by Zod? Well, it didn't matter because you knew that that wasn't the end of it. You knew that Superman was going to come back and... Um... Well, no, he was in the Phantom Zone, wasn't he? How did yeah, he but... Back? What? He was stuck in the Phantom Zone. Yeah. Well, how did you know he was going to come back? Oh, I was devastated when I saw that. That was like watching The Empire Strikes Back to me. Well, it's obvious that he's going to come back. Otherwise, he would... Superman would never have happened. Yeah. There's always going to be a nice ending. Like... You know, they can end it on a um, suspense, a cliffhanger at the end of a series, but it's always going to be brought back round, you know, to a happy ending right. on the next series, isn't it? So Smallville, yeah? Yeah, Smallville is my favourite show at the moment. Right, okay. Next question. And if you could trade lives with any person, who would it be? Oh. Beth, these are brilliant questions. They're not quick ones to answer, are oh. they? I think this might be a, a silver screen girl special. Do you want to take this one or shall I? You take it. Well, I, I thought about this earlier tonight. I thought about this yesterday or whenever you sent the message through. Um, and I'm a fairly happy, content person. And I'm almost tempted to say, and it's, it's a rubbish answer, that I wouldn't swap anything or I wouldn't change lives with anybody else. Which... Yeah, yeah, I could be somebody that I could be a superstar and rich and all the rest of it, but, you know, I'm not a pauper, I'm not broke kind of thing. I've got enough money to have a beer with a mate and bet all mates and have a curry when I want to have a curry and the rest of it. So, probably back to something I've touched on already. If I saw anybody, it probably would be Kevin Smith or a Hollywood director, just to do something that I really enjoy. Um, but I'm a pretty happy person, really. I don't know if that comes across in my videos, but it's the truth. Funny. Yeah. Oh, I and don't know, say the same as him either. So many people that that um, I could choose. Um, <laughs> so many people have got a better life than you. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back to this one. Well, you got one. The list is too numerous. Right. Numerous. I think probably after these, the ones that you or we can't answer, I'll just add this text afterwards, yeah? All right. Okay, so I'll put a little star next to that. Beth, I hope you, uh, those questions or those answers were okay. Thanks for asking such great questions. <laughs> Ridley Pops. <laughs>